Good morning, grade ones. Welcome to this maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. My name is Teacher Dai, if we haven't met before. A big welcome to you. And for those of you that we have met before, well, thanks for coming back to join me on this morning. We're going to learn some exciting maths today. And if you have any questions while I'm talking, then ask mum or dad to send an email to the address on your screen now. Okay, let's get started. Today's lesson is a maths lesson and we are going to be doing story sums. Some people call them word problems. Before we get started, we're going to warm up with a bit of counting. So let's count in ones, which just means normal, straightforward counting, all the way to 40. Can you do it? Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are you counting with me? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Almost there. Thirty one. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Very good. Let's count backwards from 20. Okay. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. I felt a bit like a rocket there. <laughs> okay, let's count in twos. Can you count in twos? It's called skip counting. We count in all the even numbers. Let's go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Well done. That's a lot. Count it all the way to 40 in twos. Let's count in fives. And I want you to notice the pattern while we're counting. All numbers are so interesting. If you figure out the pattern, it makes it even easier. Let's count in fives. So we're starting at naught and then we get 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Did you see that? We counted down all in the fives column and in the tens column. So it's easy once you know that we just go there and back, there and back. Please notice. Well done. And then this is so nice to count in tens. You just go brrr, straight down the side. 10, 20, 30, 40. And I wish we could go on 50, 60 and all the way to 100. Let's just do 10 to 40 again. 10, 20, 30, 40. Very good, and that's counting in tens. Okay, our brains are all warmed up. So, what have we got today? Equal sharing. So I said at the beginning we are doing story sums or word problems. That's when we take words and numbers and we put them together. It's like a science experiment. <laughs> and today we're going to be focusing on a specific type of word problems called equal sharing. I'm sure you know the word sharing. Grown-ups are always telling you to share, aren't they? Share your toys, share your sweets. And in this case, equal sharing, which means everyone has to get the same amount. We've got twins over here. They're going to be grumpy if you give one more than the other. Okay, so I'm going to give you some numbers to share. It must be equal. Are you ready? Let's go. Share six sweets between two friends. How many does each friend get? Now the important thing to do with sharing 
is don't draw the sweets first. I know you want to because it came first in the sentence, but it's going to get very confusing when we're drawing pictures for this. My big tip for you, teacher dies sharing tip is, draw the people first. Okay, draw the people first. So, we've got two friends. Draw the people first. One friend, two friends. And now we're ready to share. Six sweets, let's go. One for you, one for you, one for you. That's how you share, isn't it? One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. Okay, when you share, I want you to do one for you, one for you. Don't try and guess and give one person four and then find out, whoops, you only had two left for the other person. Tip number one, draw the people first. Tip number two, always one for you, one for you. Okay, so there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many did each friend get? Yes, they each got three sweets. Don't forget to write the word as an answer. Three sweets. Ta-da, there we go. That was quite a lot of difficult maths and we did it easily. And you, do you know why? Here's another secret. You must draw pictures. If you're doing word problems or story sums, you must draw pictures. It helps so much. One day when you're all big and grown up, you can try and do the answers in numbers if you like. Even I draw pictures sometimes when I'm figuring out hard maths. So helpful. So let's try and do that again, remembering all of our tips. Tip number one, if you're doing a story sum, draw pictures. Tip number two, draw the people first. Tip number three, one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. Okay, let's read this one. Share eight sweets between two friends. How many does each friend get? Okay, we're drawing pictures. Let's do our friends first. One friend, two friend. And now we're going to share the eight sweets. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Easy peasy. And how much do they each get? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Yay, we did another one. Four sweets. This is getting easier. Hey, let's go. Another one. Share nine sweets between three friends. Uh-oh, three friends. How many does each friend get? Well, we're not worried about that. We're quite brave. Three friends, easy peasy. One, two, three. There we go. I'm not scared. Let's share nine sweets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I did it. And how many did they each get? Three. If you share nine sweets between three friends, they will each get three. Three sweets. Well done. We're doing so well. Okay. Are you ready to take a risk? Share 10 brownies. Oh, yummy. I'm not sharing those. Just kidding. We're sharing. Share 10 brownies between five friends. How many does each friend get? Well, five friends. Okay. We're drawing pictures. We're starting with the friends. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five Friends, do you see I'm drawing smiley faces because it's going to be much quicker if I have to draw five. I always say to the children in my class, maths drawings are not RT drawings. We're just drawing circles or smiley faces for people. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. And for brownies, you can just draw squares. Okay, we're sharing ten. That's fine. We just stick with our strategy. One, two, three, four, five. Back to the beginning. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. How many did they each get? Right, two brownies. Well done. If we stick to our tips, these sums are not tricky for us. Except, here's a little sneaky one. Are you ready? Are you going to be brave? Okay, let's go. Last one. Share three brownies between two friends. Ha! How much does each friend get? 
Remember, it's got to be equal. We've got two friends. Let's draw them. One, two, and I've got three brownies. One for you, one for you. Uh-oh, we have a problem. There's one left. I can't give it to this friend or they'll be jealous. And if I give it to the other one, that won't be fair either. What am I going to do with that brownie? You could say each friend gets one brownie and there's one left over. That's true. That's good maths. That's exactly right. They each get one and there's one left over. Nothing wrong with that. Or we could say, hmm, if I had a spare brownie, do you know what I would do? I'd just cut it in half. Can, it's a brownie. There we go. So now how much do they each get? They each get one and a piece of a brownie. That's also good maths. This sum actually has two answers. We just have to be brave and go with what we feel like. You could have said one each and one left over, or you could have said, I'm going to cut the other one in half. And there you go. They each get one and a piece. As long as their pieces are the same size, hey? so there's no fighting. And so the answer could be, they each get one brownie and a bit. Or one brownie and a piece, an equal piece. Now, if you want to be very fancy, you can use the word half. They get one and a half brownies. That's even better. But you don't have to use the fancy words. You can just say one brownie and a piece. Well done. Sure, we've worked hard today, but we were brave and we did good maths, didn't we? We learned some tips when we're doing story sums. We figured out the tricky brownie question and I'm feeling quite exhausted. If you feel like some more maths, go and download the activity that I've prepared for you and you try your own story sums at home. Okay, have a lovely day and thank you for watching this maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud.